Immediately, from the outside, you notice the contrasting stripe on the roof. I've got it in this car, Steve's got it in his, Tim doesn't have it in his, so uh, obviously it's optional. And I did notice that um, it's one of those things that you can spec, so you can change the colour of the stripe. And, how cool is this? You can change the colours of the dials in here, and the tone in the seat, which I think is very cool. So that's, uh, that's the ultimate fries with your order. This is a chic little number. It's cool, it's very, uh, it's very urban. Feels like it's been built to drive around in a city. It's different coming out of a Q7 or coming out of a much higher car. It is different being in a lower vehicle, but you can see a lot. It's got really good visibility. It's quite comforting. Turn it. Gas on, looking left. We're going left over here, off the gas, and gas now, go for it. Perfect, over to the right. I wasn't really sure what to expect when I came out here. I didn't want to be slow. I'm a little competitive by nature. So I got in the car and Tim was fantastic. You know, learning to listen to him and relying on what he said meant I could really push the car and push myself. And I expected to learn a lot, which I did, but I didn't expect to have as much fun as I did. Skid pad was just such a good time, you know, learning to turn the car and turn the wheel in the same direction that you're spinning. It's not always something that comes naturally and you don't always get a chance to try that. So it was an incredible opportunity and I've had a great time and I'll definitely be back.